Today, we'll create an OTP screen without using multiple input fields, featuring an animated cursor, autofocus, and highly customizable design which you can update to match your app style. In this screen, there will be 5 boxes based on OTP length. In each box, animated cursor will be shown indicating the currently focused box. As user enters the OTP, the cursor will automatically move to the next box like so. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let's start by adding a basic text field. So this text field will be taking the modifier from this function. And then it will have a value. So the value will be text field value, which is this one. And here we have to pass the OTP text from this function. So let's add a parameter for that OTP text string example will be 12456. and then we have to pass it here and then we will add another argument for this one text selection and for the range we have to get the OTP text length next thing is on value change for the on value change we will check if if length of this input text is less than or equal to OTP length so OTP length will also be passed as a parameter for here let's add that one also so the length will be integer which is 6 if the length is less than or equal to OTP length then we have to invoke a function that will be called call from this uh, compose function. Let's add a function for that one also. So let's call it on OTP modified. It will take a string as well as a boolean. You can see the preview of our basic text field here. We need another parameter for this one is decoration box so let's add a row the row will contain the OTP boxes so let's create OTP boxes according to the length and for this one the index is here And then we have to create a character container which is an OTP box for our character to be shown as OTP. This will be a composable function like so. Character container will have two arguments one is index and the other is OTP text. Let's add parameters to this function. Now we have to create a box in this container. So the box will be getting a modifier, a default modifier for now. And then content alignment of this is to be centered. For the content we have to show a simple text which will have a width of 55. And then for the text, as for now, there is nothing shown. And we can add a style for this. The color of this text is black. And then we have to align this text to the center. So now let's add a mask for this box here. So we can get the mask in the parameter of this function as transformation character. 
that there will be a string as let's say it's a static check for this character that if index is less than ott text dot length then we have to return the transformation character else we have to return empty string simply pass this character to this text at this point if we check that on value change we have not called this callback here so let's call this ott modified as the text and then we have to call as length which is equal to the ott length if yes then we can do some work on this one that ott typing has been completed nothing is shown in the preview because we have not added any background color for this character containers here let's add some styling in this one for this row add a modifier as filling the max width and then we have to arrange this as horizontal arrangement as space between head over to this box and add a border to this modifier as 1 dt and we have to give the color as red and then the shape for this one is 10 dt rounded corner you can see the preview of this ott fields right here and now let me quickly add some styling as the text above this ott fields and the button also Now the other elements are also added. Let's run the application at this stage and see the status of the OTP boxes. OTP is already filled. That's because we have added a default value for this mutable state OTP text. Remove this already entered text and we can input any character right here. Let's add a keyboard type for this OTP field right here. We can see the keyboard type is now updated. Let's add an animated cursor for this OTP boxes. Add a new box as this will be a modifier. It should be aligned at alignment.center. And then we have to create the width as 2 dt and then we have to give the height as 35 dt. And then we have to set the background color as color dot red. As we can see that all the boxes have the cursors, but we only need the cursor that is currently focused. Let's add a property as if this is focused, then we have to show this box or not. We have to create a variable as is focused, and we have to get the OTP text length, and this should be equal to the current index. And then we have to save the state of this cursor visibility. Cursor visible is equal to remember. And then it should be mutable state as this should be either true or false. And we can pass this as a parameter for this one. This will be should show a cursor. And then for adding the blinking effect, we have to create a launched effect. The key for this is if it let's add a condition right here. If if this focused and it should show a cursor, and also should it blink or not. Start an infinite loop, and this should have a delay as 500. You can also adjust this blinking speed is right here and then we have to toggle the cursor visibility cursor visible and then make it toggle on and off scroll down to the bottom and then add a new composable function as animated visibility so the visible is based upon the focused value and also if the cursor should be visible or not move this box up in this animated visibility composable function and the last thing is we have to pass the focus requester for this OTP field modifier also. Create a new variable for the focus requester. 
and if and pass this in the modifier of this OTP input field. Let's run the application at this stage. As we can see, the cursor blinking is now shown in the boxes. And if we tap on this first box, keypad is shown. As we are entering the numbers, the cursor is automatically moved to the next box and the mask character is also shown. Now your OTP screen is fully functional and the design is highly customizable and you can update the box design however you like according to your app style. In the next video I'll show you how to autofill OTP from SMS. If you found this helpful hit like and subscribe so that you don't miss next video.